So last night, we all had the best night's sleep. Did you have a good night? You had a good night's sleep, didn't you? I did. Yeah, I had an amazing night's sleep. I woke up this morning, looked out the window, and this behind me, it was all frosty. It's gone away a bit now, but it was frosty and misty. It's one of the joys of, of being a happy camper on a long, narrow boat. You get to enjoy this. So Foggy went for a little meander along the bank. Mike and I came to enjoy the view. And now you can do it too. And there's steam coming off the canal, look, as the sun hits it. And all of this is because the lovely lady in the marina said, this is where you should stop, you should get nice views. God. People are awesome. Oh, life's brilliant. Oh, and the field below us is filled with bunnies. Well, I guess they're rabbits anyway. Is that or very small people wearing rabbit outfits? <laughs> The boat is just behind me. So Foggy and I have come for a walk. But I didn't realise we have to cross the road. So, in fact, Foggy's walk today consists of me carrying him until we get away from the cars. Because he can't be trusted. But yeah, what a glorious morning. Don't make plans, that's my advice to myself today. Don't make plans, just wait and see what happens. And if the sun shines, ah, oh, it's perfect. Come on, Foggy. If my grandkids were around, I'd be pushing them on this and they'd be having fun because they're not around. I'm going to have a go on it. <laughs> oh, ready, Foggy? <laughs> So it's been an odd winter with lockdown and everything. And it turns out there are loads of breaches, you know, where the canal's given way or where they have to work on locks. So this morning, we've tried to go to the middle witch arm to only to have someone tell us that it's uh, it's blocked off, so we had to turn around. And we came back down on the shroppy and we saw the Slangotland Canal and thought, aha, we'll go there. Just as we were turning off the main canal onto the little quiet one, someone went past and said, hey lads, you know that canal is closed and it's before a winding hole so you you can go up it but you can't turn around so you've got to reverse back again so he told us that before we got the first lock so we're back on the road to in Nantwich well on the water on the waterway but again I don't care we've got no plan that's the joy of it we have no plans no ambitions 
So as long as life's good, that's all that matters. And we found a really nice pub for Thursday. We're apparently to do uh, wood fired pizzas. <laughs> wood fired, they apparently found a really nice pub. We'll start again. We found a really nice pub. They do wood fired pizzas and a nice pie. So maybe we'll go there. <laughs> Ironically, there is actually a boat. My goodness. This morning, we had a bit of a crisis on our hands. We were running low on stuff. Then we found a, a Robert found a local shop thanks to the wonders of his phone, and we bought bread. So we're fine for lunch. I think that's evident. Self-evident. And most importantly of all. Boat whiskey. None of us have ever had this before, or indeed heard of this. So um, the main thing is it's smooth and easy. That sounds good. So there you go. You can relax for the day. Now all you've got to do is find water. Yeah. It's going to be a nice day. day this morning it is nearly noon and our day this morning was crisis when we're running out of stuff crisis averted we found a local shop and crisis continued when we realized we we're running out of water but we just refilled with water so here you go we can now have cups of tea because we have tea bags and water top tip by the way just Robin told me this so we did it when you're filling up with water if you have a shower Obviously, that water's replaced in the tank immediately because you're filling up with water. So have a shower when you're filling up with water, that's my advice. Then your water tank lasts for longer. I like that. It's a good top tip. The other top tip is don't let Foggy jump off the boat, which he keeps on doing. He's only been in once, but... We don't want you to go in again, Foggy. Foggy! Don't go in again, OK? No more. Once is enough. Mind you, we did forget to buy biscuits, didn't we? We didn't buy biscuits in the shop. We got cakes, though, haven't we? We have got cake. We got the leftover cakes. I've got to be honest. The Eccles cake is no longer fit for human consumption. Okay. Because I ate it this morning. <laughs> right. So we have some cakes, but perhaps less than you think. That's all I'm putting out there. Foggy. Foggy. You know that thing? Is it life's better by water? I think they say that. Yeah, that's one of the slogans that the CRT use, which is very true. It is better by water, but I'd go further than that. I'd say being on the water, if you're stressed or anxious or anything like that, it's probably better than going on any, any medication from the doctor. Just come and get on a boat.
feeling. You just think the day can't get any better. And uh, so we just stopped at Marina and bought some stuff. And the girl, the lady behind the counter, she said, oh, you should moor up just beyond bridge 12. There's a really nice view. So we've done it, we've moored up and there is a phenomenal view. And then we strolled along and we met a boater who's seen one of our films. I think he's seen more than one, in fact. So it was really nice, we had a nice chat. And then we found this little path. And we're gonna follow this path and hope it takes us to the little village that's called Church Minzel or something like that. And there's a pub there. So we're gonna go for an explore. Isn't that amazing? Isn't life just brilliant? The sun shines, Foggy wags his tail, and life is good. Come on, darling. Come on, darling. This is my first bluebell wood of the year. And I must say, it's really, really large and impressive and lovely. But I know this is not the peak, this is just the beginning. How good is that? It's glorious. Most glorious. The subject of this morning's uh, sermon is this whiskey. We bought it yesterday in a corner shop in Nantwich and none of us had ever heard of it before. It's actually a single malt, it's a single malt Scotch whiskey. Do you remember how much it was? Ish. I mean price wise, is it like a blend or an expensive? 20, 25 quid. So yeah. yeah. So you think 25 quid, you think you're gonna get a nice bottle. And I'm actually gonna read out to you the tasting notes. It says here, C cask, aged 10 years, smooth and easy. We poured out three glasses of this and fundamentally it smelt like paint stripper it looked <coughs> like cat wee and it tasted like paint stripper mixed with petrol it was the single worst whiskey single malt whiskey that any of us have ever tasted i mean that's quite going some all three of us agreed it was the worst whiskey we'd ever drunk so we actually did something never done before in, our, in my life we all tipped it down the drain and guess what down the drain it was smooth and easy <laughs> Foggy and I are enjoying a quiet five minutes and I thought what we might be worth doing is giving you a quick tour of the boat while, uh, while Robin's on the back and it's peaceful. Alright, that 
man is trying a new form of fishing. It's called fish disco. You play music to the fish and they dance their way to the top because they're enjoying the, the 80s sounds. And then you just whip them out with a net. There you go, disco fishing. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah. So Foggy and I are at the front of the boat enjoying a bit of peace and quiet. And I thought now would be a good time to give you a little guided tour of our temporary home from home. So uh, if you want to walk this way, come on Foggy, we will show them the tour. I'm going to start here at the very beginning. The pointy bit of the front is the bow and there's a cupboard underneath here with gas bottles. So that's where your gas bottles live. And this is the important part. Under where my feet are, this is where the water lives. There's a hole just on the side and you put fresh water in there. So I'm actually sitting on the water tank and now I'll show the rest of the bone, which is interesting I think. This one particularly, so this is the living beating heart of the boat, the living area. Come on in darling, come on for you, come on in. So you got your telly here, which we never watch television, but we do use the charging points for charging all our devices. And we also keep all our recycling, so it's a bit messy. And this is the uh, stove for heating up the unit. We've only had a couple of fires because it's been such a nice week, we haven't really needed it on, but it is nice to have a fire on the boat. But I want to point to something. See, because boats are so little, they use every nook and cranny and crevice for something ex exciting. So this one down here, the thing you step on to get from the front into the boat, you can lift it up and there is some stuff in there. Pretty sure the thing in there is the water pump that pumps the water from there into the rest of the boat. And the reason I mention that is that we have spent a lot of this week with Mike, in particular Mike, saying, what's that sound? What's that noise? Is something, are we taking in water? Are we sinking? And we have say, no, 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 Mike, it's the water pump. It's that thing there pumping the water from the tank to the rest of the boat. So if you come this way, I'll show you why that poor little thing makes so much noise. This is the living room area where we have four easy chairs which was, has been really helpful because three of us have really enjoyed them. Uh, actually no, Foggy is enjoying all four of us have enjoyed them so often you get the three blokes sitting on these chairs and Foggy sitting on the fourth chair but then when you look up he tends to move onto someone's lap so that's really sweet. Right but what I want to show you is notice again three men on a boat. The fruit bowl on this boat is this banana which came with us on the boat and is still here and we're about to give the boat back tomorrow and our fruit bowl is still not empty. We also have emergency supplies, a bottle of whiskey, although I have talked about this whiskey, it is, it is emergency only. I mean you'd only, have, you'd only drink this for medicinal reasons and only if, only, if, only if you thought you were... Now do you know what, if I was about to die I would not drink this except to hurry myself along to an early grave. Now that's cruel, it's maybe not as bad as I think. But yeah, not great whiskey. Anyway, so this is the sort of, this is where we have the council meetings around this table. And quite frankly, the crew of this boat do not respect the captain, even slightly, which I think is disappointing. Right, so here's the pantry. Here's where we keep sort of fresh supplies. And here's where we keep more alcohol. This is also the alcohol cupboard here. Kitchen. Now, do you want to walk this way slowly? And I'll explain. You can stand here and prepare vegetables, it's very lovely. But at some point, you'll remember that I showed you the water pump. And you'll be thinking, why did you do that, Stan? I'll explain. Look, when you want cold water, you do that. Oh! The water pump kicks in. So it's got to pump water from the back to this distance. Now that's only about five meters, but here's the thing. Someone's kicked over the dog's water bowl, by the way, it's very wet on the floor. I will deal with that after we finish filming. But um, if you turn the tap that way, turn the tap that way there, that's hot water. Now, do that, hot water comes out, it's very good. But the hot water comes from the engine. It's the water they used to call the engine, they put it into a tank. I don't know quite know how it works, but it's not the same water, maybe they do a heat exchange. Anyway, there's a tank at the back of the boat where the hot water is stored. So, if I want to get hot water to this tap, it has to come all the way from the back of the boat to here. 
and then the cold water pump has to pump water from the front of the boat all the way back to the back. So when you run the water to do the washing up, the water pump runs for a long time, which is why Mike thinks every time I'm, and it's always me doing the washing up, every time I'm washing up, Mike sits there saying, oh no, the boat's sinking. I can hear the bilge pump or similar. So there you go, it's not the bilge pump, it's just the water pump. Let's try it one more time. Ah, she blows. Right, rest of the tour. I'm gonna to show you the hot water tank. So we got the end of the kitchen, marvelous. Got a bathroom, also marvelous and lovely. Very nice bathroom. Ah. And here we have the master suite, Foggy's bedroom. You're not supposed to be on the bed, are you, darling? We talked about this. Robin will not be pleased. Robin gets really bugged. Foggy likes to jump on the bed. And apparently, this is Robin's bed, not yours, but hey, apparently right now, it's Foggy's bed. Oh. So there you go, master suite. Second bathroom. And here are is the captain and the captain's the captain's quarters along with the cr the cabin boy so this is where this is where the snoring happens mainly yeah apparently if you're looking apparently so i'm told by robin so we're told if you're looking for snore action this is the place to come right but this is the bit i want to show you this is the back of the boat that's the person steering the boat that's robin in here, under there, is where the hot water tank is. So that's why the water pump is so perplexed and tired. Because it's pumping water all the way up the boat and then back down the boat. Oh, a water pump, what a tough life. In fact, it's probably worked harder than the rest of us have, all put together. So there you go. And now I'm going to head onto the back of the boat and you can enjoy a little bit of view of life in the slow lane from the back of our boat. bright and early this morning because we're giving the boat back very shortly so we're going to head off before we've had breakfast we're going to head off that way for about an hour and hand the boat back so I just wanted to talk to you to say two things firstly it's been amazing which I always say it's almost like I, I use the word up it's been awesome and amazing and a perfect adventure it's been an awesome and amazing adventure but more importantly look at this right on the other side of the canal it is sunny behind the hedge it is sunny but on this boat I don't even see it from there, but there is frost. It's cold in the night. But there's a beacon of hope. There's a little little boiler chimney just there pumping away, which we've just turned on. By the time you get set off, the boat will be toasty warm, piping hot. So the radiators. So there you go. Gotta say farewell to this lovely girl sometime soon. Did I do a boat? I did a boat, we did a boat tour yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, so we've got a boat tour, so hopefully we're seeing how lovely she is. Well, on that note, I'm going to take one last walk along the tow. There's always next time, we will be back. 